how to create clickable images on your Facebook profile page for free with HostGator. Hi everyone, this is Dell Edwards and I just wanted to share this with you. I had a hard time finding information online about how to do this. There's a ton of information online about how to create a clickable image if you have a fan page and if you want to you can go up here on your Facebook page and click create a fan page but for somebody like me who doesn't really go to a fan page a whole lot I have one but I haven't used it for a long time because I stay on my personal page um, I wanted to know how I could post an image here on Facebook and have it go to the link that I wanted to, to go to. Now typically if I wanted to send somebody to a website and so this is the website I want to send them to. Um, this is really not a very pretty eye-catching kind of thing get up going on here. <laughs> There's nothing here because I have a website that that's my website I just um, use a redirect URL for the link that I want to send this person to. And I did another video um, uh, that shows you how to mask and forward affiliate URLs um, with HostGator that you can either click on the video or find in the section below the video if you need information on that. But I want to send people to this recorded webinar. And if I click here, this will take me off site to that. Um, webinar once it goes active. Once it's active, if I posted this, I'm going to only post it privately so that um, I don't have a whole bunch of crazy uh, posts going while I do this webinar. So if I posted this, now I'd see this link up here. It's not real pretty and this very unattractive thing here that says recorded webinar. If I click on recorded webinar, it'll take me to an outside page and sure enough here's my recorded webinar that's gonna start okay so everything's going slow but it's you get the point hey guys, okay so that's the recorded webinar but that's not very attractive or eye-catching nobody is going to pay attention to this at all um, and I want my friends all of them to pay attention to what I have so the next option I had, unless I went and created a fan page, which I'm not really interested in using my fan page just to send pe people on my list to a webinar, um, I could do the next best thing and create um, an eye-catching picture. So let's say I have a, a, a picture I want to upload, okay? I have a real nice picture that I thought would be great to send people to. And so once again, I have my link that I can put in here. I can type it in here. And so now that I have a picture attached, it's not going to put this little um, thumbnail, very boring, dull thumbnail anymore. It'll have this picture. And once I post it, now I have this nice big picture that says recorded webinar, and it has my link. I also have to have my link up here if I want somebody to be able to click through to get to the webinar. If someone clicks on my picture, however, it takes them to another picture. And if they want to get to my link, they then have to click on this link or in the link in the original um, uh, item in order to get to my recorded webinar. So I'm not interested in that. What I want to, them to be able to do is click this picture and be taken directly to my link. So the question was, how do I do that on my profile page? And so I'm going to show you what I came up with. So the first thing we're going to need to do is make sure that our image is the size that we want, the optimal size that we want. And in our case right now, just playing around with it, the image size that seems to work best is an image size of 484 pixels by 252 pixels in height. So 484 wide by 252 high. So what I'm going to do here is just open up the picture that I want to use. Okay, so that we want to do find out if the image meets the requirements that we're looking for. The attributes, I'm just using paint. You can use whatever uh, software you have. 
um, image software. But um, anyway, so this tells me that the pixels are 457 wide by 319 high. So it's a little too short and a little too wide according to what I have uh, tested. I need to have 484 pixels wide by 252 high, approximately. Doesn't have to be exact. Okay, and so I just use um, a calculator, simple math, to see what I want to, how many pixels I need to do. So um, I need it to be 484 pixels high. So I do 484 divided by what it actually is, which is 457. So it's a little smaller than I need it to be, and that gives me 1.059. So that's about telling me that I need, if I move this decimal place over, this is just basic math, I need it to be about a 106% of what is currently here, okay? And so for the height, um, what I really need it to be is 252 um, pixels high, and it's actually 319. So I divide by 319, and I get 0.789. So I need it to be about 79% of this here. So 106% and 79%. So then I'll just close this out and go up to the stretch skew thing. And I'll just make this 106% and I'll make this 79% and say OK. And it's going to skew my image and make it a little off, but I still get a decent image. I could play around with this, but for the purpose of this training, this is going to be good enough. Now, if I look at the image attributes now, I'm at 484 and 253. And now I'm going to just save it. The next thing that we need to do is upload the picture to a hosted website. I use tinypic.com. Other people use PhotoBucket. There are a bunch of um, websites that will host images for free. So now I'm just going to upload the image. TinyPic wants to make sure I'm a human, so it's telling me. Um, in order to avoid spam, please enter Ford F series. Okay. Okay, so now my image is uploaded and it's hosted on this website. It's going to stay here. I created an account for this. That's simple to do. You can do that. It's free. And now, uh, if I wanted to view the full size image, I could, but I don't need to. I know it's there. What I'm interested in capturing is the direct link for this image. And here it is. So I just need to click on that and copy this direct link. The next step is to go to your HostGator account. This is specifically for people with HostGator. Um, and open up your file manager um, and choose or select the website that you're going to be working with. Okay? the subdomain. So in this case, I'm working with webinar.delledwards.com um, because that's where I want to send this picture to. And I'm going to open up my index file, which was simply a redirect file um, to mask an affiliate link. And I'm going to work on this. All right. So I'm going to push this information down here and I'm going to paste in stuff that I need. So um, I'm just going to paste that um, image link there. That was the image link, okay? Now, I don't know how to do HTML code. I have no clue, okay? But I know how to figure stuff out. So online, I found some HTML code. I think I'm starting to learn it a little bit now that I've been doing this stuff. But I found some code, and I'll post it in the, um, in the section below the video. I'm just going to use this code to uh, create what I need. And go back here, and I created a template from the code that I found, and I'm just pasting the template in here. Okay, um, yeah. Okay, so now what I want to do is put the information in that I need. Okay, the first thing here has place hosted image URL here, and that was what I just got right from that website where I put the picture. I'm gonna cut that and I'm going to post it right in here between the exclamation marks. All right. Now I'm going to place my title here. Whatever title I want to use, I'm just going to put it here. 
And so, hmm, I didn't think about this before I did this. I should have thought about this before. But my title is going to be simply, rec um, let me see, free recorded training. Uh, I might change that, but just for the purpose of this um, training, that's what we're going to write. Now, for the description, this is the area where you can type whatever you want, and you're going to um, do your call to action and ask somebody to click. And so I'm just going to put in here, um, click here to access the free training uh, webinar. to access uh, the recording of, let's see, access, a recording of the free training webinar period. And that's all I'm going to put for the purpose of this training. And now my destination URL, the place where I want the, them to go, is what I'm going to put here in this section. And I know from this um, link that I had before, this was a redirect, uh, I want them to go to this uh, affiliate URL. So I'm going to cut that. And I'm going to paste it here. All right. So now I don't need all of this stuff anymore. I'm done with that. I can delete all of that. And I can save the changes. The next step that you have to do is you have to go to the Facebook Developers Tool and use the debugger. I'll post the link below the video. Um, but basically, you could just Google Facebook.com debugger, and it'll take you to the Open Graph debugger. And the reason you need that is because Facebook keeps um, all of your website links that you've used before in, in memory in their system. And so if I went back to Facebook and tried to put in my new URL, it would still show the old um uh, thumbnail that was very, you know, <laughs> blah. Um, and I need to make sure that Facebook scrapes my website and allows me to, allows the new information to come in. And so, um, here's my website, webinar.delledwards.com. And I'm going to say debug. And it'll show what is currently there. And so when I go on Facebook, it shows the existing scrape information, which has this website link. It shows what I used to have before, which just said webinar, recorded webinar, and it had this little blase blah thing here going on. And so now I want to fetch the new scrape information, so I just click this link. And now what you'll see is it has changed. It has this picture free recorded training for my title. Click here to access a recording of the free training webinar. And it has my picture and the, the new thumbnail. So I'm back on my website again, on my Facebook page again. And I want to put my uh, website address that I want to direct everyone to for the free training. And, and now look what happens. This big, beautiful picture pops up with free recorded training, click here to access a recording of the free training webinar. And I can take this ugly little link out and I can put some information if I want. Um, I can just type anything I want. I can type click the pick to access the free training. Let's just say, I could have typed anything. I could have left it blank. And then I can post it. And now, when somebody comes to this picture, 
if they click on the picture, instead of going to that other picture, it goes straight to the training. We have success. Okay, so I promised I'd show you how to do this from your fan page. It's really simple, and I'll take just a couple minutes to show you. Make sure when you log into your account, if you already have a fan page, you click on this little arrow and drop down and select use as your fan page name. Okay. Now all you have to do is go when you're going to post an item. It's very an, a website. It's really important that the web address that you're sharing already must have an image of some sort on it that will create an, uh, a, a thumbnail. If it doesn't have an image, this won't work. Okay. If it has an image, it's real simple. Just type the website address. This is just my basic blog address, delledwards.com. And thumbnails come up. And so there are different options here I could use, or this is where it comes nice. I can upload an image. And so I just clicked upload an image. And now this big, beautiful image comes up. Once again, using a bigger size image with um, a, a larger pixel size will get you this nice big picture. I can now remove this and type whatever I want in here. I can edit this just by clicking on it. I can edit this section by clicking on it. When I'm ready, I can post this. And this will be now a nice clickable picture that goes directly to my blog page. Um, if I wanted to, I could then take this and share it once it's posted. I could share it to my personal page or to whatever pages I wanted to share it to, and it would still look just like this, a clickable link. I've included the link addresses that I've used in this video below, and I've also included the code that you can use to alter your index file. Feel free to connect with me on Facebook or call me if you have any questions. I hope you found this video to be helpful. Please leave your comments below and like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel.